Hey guys, and welcome to the first Tiger entry in the tank model contest. A lot of people sent in Tiger replays when they saw that there were no Tiger entries whatsoever. And I don't know why they didn't send in before, because maybe they just felt that the replay wasn't good enough for, well, I don't know. But uh, plenty of replay has come in, and uh, this one by Tusk Yevel. I hope that's how you pronounce it, because that's how my brain pronounces it. And um, he's in his tiger, of course. It is elite, as you can see here. The maximum HP has been reached with the upgraded turret. And he does have the bigger gun on it, as we can see here by the stat. Nope, we can't see the stats. Okay, gonna do it like that. Yep. 203 penetration and 240 damage. So he is very much fully upgraded. Peek around the corner here to see if anyone is down here. No one decided to scout in the middle, so they have absolutely no idea who is coming down here. A little sad. Plenty of people could have uh, gone in there, like the Type T34, the, uh, the Type 58, Patakambang Fia. But uh, yeah, no one did that. Or the Hellcat as well, could have done it but I guess he wasn't up for the task. But enemies are showing their faces down here and Tuskiavel uh, is being told to fall back but why should he? Because he is the biggest tank on the field here and most of the tanks in front of him can't really hurt him when it comes to the uh, yeah, when 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 push comes to shove, or oh, no, that's not the word. I don't know. I don't know uh, what am I talking about. But um, <laughs> he can deal with these tanks if um, need be, all alone actually. But the Sherman did look like he was trying to flank. So uh, yep, and there he is. Just Gavel was waiting for it. As we can see here, nope, no chance of penetrating with that small gun on, on the Pers oh, Pershing, no, oh, M4 Sherman. But here comes a Tiger, and that one can penetrate. It tries to side scrape, but it just didn't really work right there, and he's just given up totally on side scraping, so now it's just front to front damage, and the GW Panther takes out the Tiger after Tusky Evelyn uh, did some damage on it. Really good there, support from the big, big uh, artilleries now. SU-100 taken out on a, a driving shot there, it was really cool. Shooting between the wrecks and hitting the SU-100. Very nice. Just going straight into the face of the derp gun on the, uh, the KV-1. Uh, maybe not the best idea, because as we can see he is doing damage again and again and again. Around 100-ish tank, 100-ish damage every single time. And Patskambang Fia trying to escape here. Aiming before, or in front of where he would appear, um, allows him to take him out as soon as possible. And that's one dead Patskambang Fia. Only real threat now left is the KB-3, but he is all the way up there. We have no idea what his, um, his HP is at right now, so uh, yep, all you can do is uh, hope that they can take care of him. The GW Panther sees the Tiger way too late and is knocked out. Now it is... Um, Six versus seven. With two artilleries left. And the of course on our team, on Tusky Avalon's team. Um, there are three artilleries. So support should be expected, but again. It is pretty tough being artillery right now with the accuracy, aim time, all that lovely fun stuff. But uh, we do have the Tiger 
in their base. So he'll probably start the cap since the KV-3 and the KV-1S is at the base. Just to make sure that if it goes wrong, they will still win on cap. That's what I'm, I'm just presuming it right now because he is heading straight for the cap zone. Will he stop or will he continue? I think the KV-1 is AFK in the base. Ooh, he moved. Oh, not enough. Please miss, please miss, please miss. Oh, and the VK-3001H take out the uh, SU-8. Good there. Yep. Nope. No cap, kill all. Oh, shoo, Hummel heads straight next to him. Dear lord. That was lucky that he didn't die right there. But the VK is staying in the cap zone, which is good. It's good for insurance. When the game is this close and most of the tanks you have are artillery left, then it's pretty good to uh, to have one guy stay in the cap. Oh, and there's the scout coming in to uh, decap, and he did. Will he just sit there while Skjevlen takes a shot? Yep, he will. And the VK takes him out. Now, only the Hummel is left, which did a big dent, made a big dent inside of uh, Tuskyavu. Let's see here. Oh, it'll be so fun if it's not even pronounced like that. And I'm talking and saying his name like that again and again and again. Will the Hummel hit? I don't think so. Yep, GG right there. Six kill, top gun there. And I'm thinking sniper as well. But let's take a look at that score. And there we have it, Top Gun and Sniper, as I called it. He did hit all of his targets almost every single time. Uh, base XP now is um, 1,405 for the Tiger to beat. So that's what you gotta go out there and work for, guys. It's not that much, uh, because he was up against very low HP targets. So if you get into a Tier 7, 8, or even 9 game and do well, you'll pretty much have that one sealed. Uh, but yeah, as we saw, 16 out of 16, 35 damage, 3500 damage, and a little bit of spawning damage, and a lot of damaged enemies, and detected as well, the tiger. Uh, but yeah, that is the score to be, guys, 1405.